Hey guys, welcome back to Unga's Kitchen. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious mat watering banga rice. Banga rice is one of the many street food that we enjoy back in Nigeria in Delta States. Banga rice is very easy to make, but trust me, they taste so so good. This banga rice tasted so 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 delicious. So if you want to see how I make this banga rice, just keep watching. But first of all, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Please, if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe so you'll be notified instantly whenever I upload a new video here in this channel. In this channel, I make different kind of recipes. So if you don't want to miss out from any of those, and if you like good food, new recipes, then this is the channel for you. Just subscribe so you'll be notified instantly whenever i upload a new video so guys without wasting of your time i'm going to introduce all the ingredients and we'll get started so to the list of my ingredients i'm using easy cook rice i'm using three cups of easy cook rice and this is my banga paste if you are where you can get the fresh banga from the market the fresh banga nuts the palm nuts that is really really good all you have to do is to parboil the banga nuts the palm nuts when it's soft you extract the juice but here where we are in uk here yeah, we can't find those fresh banga nuts so we use the paste this one is already processed and extracted so this is my banga paste and so the list of my ingredients i'm using some goat meat and some blended crayfish this is really really essential when you are making bangas banga rice and i'm using one medium size of onion and some seasoning cubes some salt and some scratch bonnet so i'm gonna start by transferring my washed goat meat into my box and for my seasoning i'm using some Seasoning cubes Some salt Chopped onion So I'm going to cover it to cook, to allow it for a few minutes to bring out its own juice. Then I'm going to add water to cook it till the meat becomes tender. So this is the goat meat cooking. You know, goat meat takes some time to be soft. It's always tough, so I like my meat to be really, really soft, so it's still cooking. Just gonna leave that to cook for some time again. So the secret to a delicious banga rice is for your rice to be actually soft. So in my boiling water now, I'm going to pour in the rice and I'm going to parboil it. So I'm going to allow this to cook for a few minutes, maybe 10 to 15 minutes because I really want it to soft. That is when you will get the real taste of banga rice so i'm going to leave this to cook so the rice is half cooked now the next thing is just to wash it off So my goat meat is perfectly cooked now. The next thing is to take them off. So I'm going to start by frying my goat meat. I'm gonna take them off the oil once they are golden brown like this. So 
So to start with, I'll add the, the banga paste into my pot. And next, I'm going to add the blended pepper and onion. And I'm going to add the meat stock. And I'm going to add more water. And the next thing, I'm going to add some salt. I'm adding one teaspoon. And this is our blended crayfish. I'm going to add half of it and leave the remaining for later use. And I'm going to add my seasoning cubes. And again, I'm going to add more water. Now I'm going to stir this together and bring it to a boil. And I'll put the lid on and bring it to a boil. So once we bring the water to a boiling point like this, now I'm going to go ahead to introduce the rice. And I'm going to stir the pots together. And I'm going to cover it and allow it to cook. So I'm just going to stir it like this. Just going to test for seasoning. So guys, this banga rice is cooking so so good. I'm just going to quickly test if it's a bit if it's soft to my taste if it's not then we are going to add more water hmm so the water in it is going to cook it it perfectly well I don't need to add any more water so at this point I'm just going to bring back the the blended crayfish that I left And I'm going to throw in some pepper, some scratch bonnets. So our banga rice is almost cooked. I'm just going to leave it to simmer for the next five minutes. And that is it guys. So guys, this is it. A banga rice is perfectly cooked. With banga rice, you don't want to allow it dry too 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 much. Once it's just like this, this is how the this is how you enjoy banga rice. You allow it to be a little bit soggy, a little bit softer than the normal rice, and that is when you will really, really feel the taste of the true Delta banga rice. So lastly, guys, I'm just going to bring back my goat meat. And this is 
is it this is how to make a delicious delta banga rice if you like this video please give me some love by pressing the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe so you'll be notified instantly whenever I upload a beautiful and amazing recipe like this. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. But until then, remain blessed, keep shining and bye for now.